Hello, my name is Michael Short from Blitz Industries, bringing you WAS Pro plugins. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how our WP Ultimo, Cart Flows, and Woo subscription integration works. So as you'll see, we're on our industry-pro.com website. So let's log in. So once we're logged into our main site's dashboard, we'll want to open up in another tab, our network admin dashboard. We are going to be going back and forth between the two tabs frequently, so we want to get them all set up and ready to go. While we wait for that to open, I want to show you that we've already set up cart flows as well as we've added Woo subscriptions to our install. Now, we use a Woo branding plugin, so everything that would say WooCommerce, we have, say, Pro Store. Uh, let's go ahead and click on cart flows, and you'll see that we have nothing set up currently for cart flows. And this isn't going to be a demonstration how to work cart flows. I will take you through the process as far as you need to go in terms of setting it up with WP Ultimo and making sure everything works. So as you see, we have zero flows set up currently. And now let's go to our products page and show you that we have only the products related to services that we offer and nothing related to WP Ultimo plans, as you see here. Now let's go to our network admin dashboard. And the first thing we want to do is go to our plugins page. In our network, we call it apps. So here we are in our plugins page. I'm not going to show you how to install a plugin, as I'm sure you already know how to do that. At least I hope you do if you're going to be putting together a multi-site network. Uh, but let's scroll down and see that. And so I can show you that I've already installed our plugin. So as you see here, the Blitz, WP Ultimo, Cartflows, and Woo Subscription Integration is not activated. And so let's assume that um, you've installed it and this is your first time. So let's go ahead and network activate it. All right, once it's activated, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is activate the, your license. And so to do that, you click, you scroll down and find your WP Ultimo settings and click on that. And inside your WP Ultimo settings tab, you'll see a new button up here and it's License Activation WP Ultimo Woo Subscriptions. Go ahead and click on that. And here you'll want to enter your license key. As you see, I've already entered mine and it's got the check mark to let me know that it's been done. But otherwise you would just enter your key here that you've received in an email and click Activate. Once that is completed, you're ready to get started. So the first step now we wanna do is go to WP Ultimo Settings. Inside Settings, we're gonna select Payment Gateways. Scroll down on Payment Gateways, and you're going to want to select your WooCommerce as a gateway. In my case, again, we named it Pro Store, so that's the one I have selected. Once you select that, you'll see a few options appear down below that you can make changes to. So the first thing is your button label. And this is, for us, we've added as the last step, add payment information. The name of the subscription payment method is going to this you would want to name it and what your customer is going to see so in some cases it would be stripe payment method um or, or so forth so what i'll say in ours is just pro sites payment or pro site subscription name it whatever you want obviously the next one is your button text what is it actually going to say in the button so i bet I've opted to put complete order, enter payment info. And then lastly, you have two more options. And as I'm sure you're familiar with WP Ultimo, and the very last step when you're going to put in, just when you select um, your payment option, your, the buttons that have come. So like if you have selected PayPal and Stripe, for example, it'll have two buttons in the last little box um, that, that appears in the last step. So in our case, it's going to only be one button because we've selected Pro Store. And so underneath that button, um, typically, it'll say go back to account or view account, and um, I find that to be very confusing to a consumer because they haven't quite, um, excuse me, they haven't quite finished their process of order. So I'd want to eliminate that that option and just give them the only the one option, which is what we want them to do, and that is to make their payment. And so it we have it set up to default to remove that link. Um, but if you want to include that link, you can always bring it back by clicking on here and it'll bring it back for you. And then the last site, the last um, feature that you have that you can make a change to is the alignment for the payment block text. So in that box, it automatically comes left justified. 
But in my opinion, that doesn't look that great. So I personally like to make it aligned center and that is the default setup. But otherwise you can, if you like the left justification, you could do, you can change it here. And then if you really want, you can make it go right justified. So once you've done all this and it completed it the way you'd like it, you go ahead and click save changes. As it's saving, let's go ahead and go to the product, to, I'm sorry, to the, um, the main site now, dashboard. And I'm going to hit refresh on the products page to show now that with our WP Ultimo cart flows, Woo subscription integration plugin, it will automatically bring your plans, your WP Ultimo plans into your products page. And so in my case, we have seven different plans. Out of those seven, four of them are actually hidden plans. And so we're not really going to do anything with those. However, the, the three plans that are our main plans that show up through and the setup process on the front end is going to be our pro site is our main one. Then we have a pro store and we have a pro page. So for this demo, I'm only going to edit our pro site and show you how this works. And so there's nothing that we need to do here now with the plan. It's already created the plan. It's already put the price and it's all and made it so that it's paid monthly. So the next thing we want to do then is go to our cart flows and set up a flow. Many have asked actually, doesn't Woo subscription already work out of the box with cart flows and doesn't Woo subscription already work out of the box with WP Ultimo? Why do we need our plugin? Well, we need our plugin because it, there's no way to make that connection between WP Ultimo plans and, um, the Woo subscriptions on this front end. So that's why we need our plugin. So let's go ahead now and get started with our cart flows. This isn't a demo for cart flows. And so, I'm not going to get into the weeds on how to set up your cart flows in terms of design and so forth, but I will show you how, um, at least enough to show you how it actually works within our process. So let's go ahead and just select this one. And by the way, we are also white labeling Elementor. And so we call it pro site editor. And the, otherwise you would see Elementor here as the, our option in cart flows. So I just don't want to confuse you to why our network looks a little bit different than you possibly looks than yours does. All right. So now our flow has been set up. We're going to name our flow. So the first thing is I'm going to name this pro site because that's the plan name and we want to click update. So now that we've had, have our flow named and saved the first, the next step is to delete or remove the landing page because obviously we, are skipping this step and going straight to the checkout page. So let's go ahead and delete that. Say yes. So here on the checkout page, we're going to click edit because we want to assign our product to that particular checkout page. And you're going to need to do the, a flow for each of your plans, just so you know. So scroll down once you're here and we're going to select our product. In our case, it's going to be ProSite monthly. So let's go ahead and type in ProSite and wait for the results to appear. I'm looking for ProSite Monthly, and there it is. And we're going to click Update. Now, again, this is not a demo for cart flows, but this is where you would want to add your order bump, check out designs, and just make all your tweaks that you'd want um, to customize the way you want your checkout page to look. But that's not what we're here for, so let's just keep moving along to show you how this is all works. So now that that's set up, we now have a cart flow assigned to a uh, WP Ultimo plan we can go ahead and test this. So in order to do that, I need to log out of this so that I can set up a new plan from the front end. I'm also going to close out my tab for our network admin because that's no longer needed. And let's go to our front end. So here we are on the homepage of our website. We're lo obviously logged out because there's no bar at the top. And let's go ahead and sign up for an account. Because we've only set up the pro site account and this um, through our cart flow, we're going to select this plan. Now we're just going to pick a template. I'll pick one randomly. And the next steps is just WP Ultimo steps. So um, you should be very familiar with this already, but let's go ahead and fill this out quickly. And I'll probably speed through this in our video so that you don't have to watch every little thing. Okay, so now we are going to see the last step in the integration that we've created between WP Ultimo and Cart Flows. So this next window is going to be WP Ultimo's window of the payment integration method. So here we are. As you can see, we've centered this text. Typically, it's left justified. And there's typically a link under here that says go to account page. But instead, we're sending you to 
the cart flows integration page. And here we are at $57 a month. It's already selected it. It's pro sites one time. And here you have it. You can set up your order bump. You can use cart flows as you're familiar with, and that's it. So if I went through this process, I can have upsells, downsells, and all of that good stuff. So if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to leave your comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to um, seeing what you do with our plugin. Thank you very much and have a great day.